When the BJP government had come with the slogan, famous slogan of Beti Bachao, we literally didn't understand in what context were they saying. They literally meant Beti Bachao. Save your daughters. Imagine having to be raped while you being five months pregnant. And now, not just that, and to also forcefully witness your mother, your sister being raped. And after that, snatching your three-year-old daughter and crushing her head towards the rock. How will you justify all this and say that it is okay? It is okay for these convicts to walk free and live a normal life? It is not okay. We cannot normalize such a heinous crime and say that yes, you can rape a five-month-old pregnant woman. You can rape other women, uh, other women of the family. You can kill the uh, family members. You can kill a three-year-old child and get caught free and say it is okay. No, it is not okay. Firstly, the release of this uh, convicts in Bilkhis Banu case has come out as a, a sense of great anguish pain, grief, and more than that, I can say it is betrayal. Betrayal of justice for Bilkhis Banu alone and for the innumerable women who are victim of rape. And also the women that believe in some hope in justice, that yes, justice will be given to every victim. Yes, I feel that the convicts that have walked out scot-free and the kind of, uh, you know, uh, I think the outpour that they have received from me, their family members, I think it's uh, so disappointing as a society to witness something like this. These are convicts who have been in jail for a heinous crime such as gang rape and murder. Just not gang rape, but these are the, uh, the convicts that raped a five-month pregnant woman, Bilkhis Banu. On March 3rd, 2002, as Bilkhis Banu and her entire family of 17 members were fleeing the site, the, a, a group of 30 to 40 men caught hold of them and tried to, they raped all the seven family members that involved her mother, her sister and Bilkhis also, who was five months pregnant. Just imagine having to go through such, uh, such a dreadful situation I think this day is going to haunt her entire life and for us as a civil society just to witness something of this sort is heart-wrenching. It gives me personally chills down my spine how Bilkhis would have gone through that, that very day and to relive that entire situation, the entire incident over the years again and again to narrate the horrific incident every day as every journalist would ask her, every institute would ask her as to what happened to her. To relive that that horrific incident would be so chilling for her. For, for, for a woman myself, I would be devastated to just imagine the plight of Bilkhis, what she's going through. Imagine having to be raped while you being five months pregnant. And now, not just that, and to also forcefully witness your mother, your sister being raped. And after that, snatching your three-year-old daughter and crushing her head towards the rock. How will you justify all this and say that it is okay? It is okay for these convicts to walk free and live a normal life where the victim herself is living a life of fear? I don't think that is justifiable. How can you justify and say that it is okay that they have served certain and certain years in jail? I don't think so. It will do justice to all the horror that she has lived her life through. Like, even in her statement, Bilkhis has said that I have come to terms and started living my life now. Imagine to having put her through the same dungeons again to ha having to go through that fear that yes, my convicts, my rapists are out in the open. How will she survive? How will she come to terms with a normal life where she can say, yes, I'm okay with this. How can we justify as a civil society that this is all right? I appeal to all the civil society, all the members, all uh, the entire, uh, uh, you know, everybody in the society to stand up and raise their voices against the complete misuse of the power by the state government in saving these Hindutva uh, convicts. Just, just because, uh, I don't know, for their political benefit, it is clear victory of communal politics over justice.
I feel that whenever there is an injustice on every every woman, on any woman, it is injustice to the entire woman. And I think it is our responsibility as a woman organization and as a civil society, it is your responsibility to stand up and raise your voices against this injustice that is prevailing in our society so that we can tell our future generations to come that it is not okay. We cannot normalize such a heinous crime and say that yes, you can rape a five month old pregnant women you can rape other women uh, other women of the family you can kill the uh, family members you can kill a three-year-old child and get caught free and say it is okay no it is not okay when the BJP government had come with the slogan famous slogan of Beti Bachao we literally didn't understand in what context were they saying they literally meant Beti Bachao save your daughters and I think that's what we as a civil society should stand up and say we are here to save every daughter and yes like the uh, Prime Minister of our country made a grand statement in his uh, uh, you know independent Independence Day speech where he said that we should respect women, we should speak about women empowerment. Yes, I think this is high time you stand up for it. And if you really believe in giving justice to women, if you really believe in Nari Shakti, in empowering women, let's start with Bilkhis. I think this will be an eye opener for all of them that you truly stand by what you say. And this is just not a Jumle Bazi party, but yes they also practice what they preach so yes i appeal to all the civil society to stand up against this injustice that is prevailing in our society because ye beti ko aapki zarurat hai